What's up everybody? My name is Thomas with World Animal Foundation. Today we're going to cover training with the Halo Collar. Um, look, there are a lot of common misconceptions about training with new technology and that's completely understandable. It's not quite the same as sitting around in the living room with a treat and teaching your dog how to sit. But in a lot of ways, it really is. It's just going to take a little more time and preparation and today I'm going to show you how to train your dog to work with the virtual fences you create and to work with the new technology the Halo 3 offers and how to get the most out of it and get your dog on board as quickly as possible. All right, first and foremost, it's a step-by-step -step process. The way I do it, it starts with exercise. Now, both of my dogs are Dobermans, so they're pretty energetic on their own. I can generally let them outside, let them roam, roam around, run around the yard for a little while. And once they get a little uh, tired, ready to come in, take a break or whatever, that's typically when I get them all excited again, take them right back outside and we get started with uh, a little bit of training because they get excited, you know, when I when I involve myself in their activities, like most dogs do. Um, you need to make sure it's distraction free and in the very beginning, you wanna start the training sessions inside your home, doing basic stuff, sit, give me five, uh, lay down, maybe even as far as roll over. Then you get them outside later on and I know that when you're outside, there's no such thing as a perfect distraction-free environment, but you gotta do the best you can. And uh, that's when you start really um, including the patience and the, the repetition that it requires to really get your dog on board with what you're trying to do. So I say start inside and then move yourself outside over time, especially as your dog becomes more and more accustomed to being trained and uh, keep your, keep your um, the time limit's short, I'd say five to 10 minutes, max it out at 10 minutes, and don't do it constantly all the time. I mean, like I said, it's a step-by-step -step process and it's, it's something that you don't wanna rush through because you want you want your dogs to be safe and you wanna get them on board with the Halo training. And like I said, each, sec each session should take about five to 10 minutes and then just give it a little break for a little while. You do need to set up your virtual fence and if um, you go back and check out my Halo Gen 3 review, I have an in-depth guide on setting up your virtual fence and getting everything ready. Um, it's a little intricate, so I didn't throw it in this video because I don't want to bore everybody to death, but um, use your manual feedback cues on the app. And as you can see, we'll throw that up, I'll throw that up there on the screen for you, that it's generally pretty easy. You just uh, you know select your dog's name, um, scroll up on the page and select the feedback that you want to use and just hit it whenever you need to hit it as the, the test collar button at the bottom. So that's generally pretty easy to use. It should be an issue. Um, I didn't use the manual feedback stuff with my dogs, but it is an option in case you want to use it. So feel free. Good news is setting up the halo collar is no big deal at all. Um, they come with what's called the perfect fit system. Now these have a, a, a clamp, a new end cap for your collar, and you know, you can get your own pair of scissors. But um, all you gotta do is set the collar up to the right size, cut it, because you'll have a lot of excess lead, uh, a lot of excess collar. Cut it down to the size you want, put your new end cap on, and clamp it. One thing you need to make sure you do is keep your training sessions short. Now I'm talking between five and 10 minutes, no longer than 10 minutes. It depends on the dog, and you can look your individual dog up, but the do a dog's attention span, they get bored really quick, especially high energy dogs five minutes tops with my dogs and they're just done with it. They don't want to do with it anymore. As far as setting it up on the app, that's pretty self-explanatory. I mean, as soon as you download the app, you plug your collar into the charger and the app will guide you the rest of the way. And once the collar itself pops up for you to uh, connect them via Bluetooth, all you have to do is press this front button here. They'll connect. Then you move on to uh, drawing out your fences, which I've made videos on in my, um, in my Halo reviews. I've got several of them. Some cover just the halo, some cover the uh, halo and the spot on and various other collars, but you should check them out if you want a, uh, a full description of how to set up the halo collar the best and quickest way. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the camera on a widescreen for you guys and you can kind of see how it is that I trained Aries and Athena. I'm just gonna walk them slowly to the uh, border where the virtual fence is and as soon as the collar comes uh, goes off, I'm gonna bring them back inside give him a treat. And of course, Caesar Milan, I've got him set up his little voice recording to congratulate him, you know, his little words or whatever. It's, it's very difficult to hear the audio, even though I have it turned all the way up to 15 max. It's very easy for the dog to hear the audio because it's at frequencies that are more difficult for humans to hear. 
All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do this. You should have your collar already fitted to your dog size, your leash ready to go, and of course your treats. Now, whichever treats your dogs like, it is what it is, your choice. Uh, mine like mine like milk bones. Don't know why, they're cheap, dogs love them. So let's call him over here. Come on, Aries. Get him fitted and get him ready. Good girl, sit. Good boy, good boy. Yeah. All right, collar on him. And I've got my treats ready. All righty, come on here, come on, come on. Take it nice and slow. Good boy, good boy, come on, come on. Stop, 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 sit, sit. Good boy, good boy, good boy, good boy. Good boy. I didn't set the fence up too far away because I want you to be able to hear it. And that's really all there is to it. Repetition, repetition, repetition. Do it over and over and over again. As soon as that collar makes a beeping sound, it's definitely detected in his ears. So make sure you bring him back, give him a treat, pet him, love on him, whatever. You know, just make him happy for being a good boy. Now remember when it's all said and done, give it a break for a little while. Every dog needs a chill out period. You know, I've got Dobermans, they're already high energy dogs. They're very, very smart dogs. So uh, training repetition with them didn't take, you know, an extremely long amount of time and it wasn't too repetitive. But um, I have to give them breaks every now and then because, you know, they're they're just like us. You need a, you need a chance to sit down and, and unwind at the end of a long day. And um, Dogs respond well with rewards. Uh, doesn't matter what kind of dog you have as far as that's concerned. Um, you know, I use treats with mine um, and just generally spending time with them. You know, uh, dogs tend to bond with the owner that spends the most time with them. That's just the way it is. Uh, spend time with them, give them treats for rewards. Um, they'll thank you for it and they'll learn. So, you know, it's the best of both worlds. Now, as you can see here, everything that you need to get started training your dog is right here. All the information you want, your prevention types, how loud you want your prevention types, the strength, um, like for the vibration, for instance, you can adjust um, the types of encouragement you want the collar. And this is all from the collar. This is not necessarily directly from you, but you can combine the workings of the collar and its prevention mechanisms and encouragement mechanisms with you physically out there bringing your dog in whenever he crosses the boundary. This here is how you automatically manually send uh, prevention feedback. So you could do that as well if that's you know what you choose to do. If you prefer to manually press the button, then it's right there under prevention feedback. Here, you have all kinds of different training guides for you to go off of. So nothing is uh, nothing is absolutely set in stone. If one thing doesn't work, you know, look to the fence training on the Halo app, or you can even do video conferencing with some of the Halo customer services, and they'll walk you through some of the uh, dog training stuff. So everything you need to get started and go through the entire process is right here on the app. Collaborative training is a good idea as well. I mean, if you've got a... Um, significant other, kids, you know, family members, friends, go out there and both work with you, especially if your dog is more attached to one person in the family than another, you know, because they're gonna work, they're gonna be less amenable with somebody that never works with them, they're not used to being around, they haven't bonded to. So bringing somebody outside that um, the dogs really like uh, usually works out better for everybody. And that about wraps things up for the Halo 3 training guide. Just remember time, patience, and repetition are key, even for the most hard-headed dogs out there. Mine are pretty hard-headed. Um, also, don't forget that the Halo 3 app is absolutely loaded with good training guides to help walk you through a lot of this stuff. And, um, you know, it's, it's worth referencing every now and then when uh, you need something to kind of get your dog to that next level so to speak don't forget before you head out to like and subscribe so we keep these videos rolling in we still got a lot of content down the road i'd like to put out there um, a lot of informative content remember i don't uh i don't do any reviews that i haven't put my hands on the actual product itself so feel free to comment as well um, i get on there as much as i can try to answer your comments questions and concerns and uh that about does it so have a good day